The number four Fort Thomas Apache's girls basketball team are headed to Prescott for a date with the number one Rock Point Cougars on Friday, February 17th at the Findlay Toyota Center in Prescott. The Ford outlasted the Williams Vikings 61-54 in a quarterfinal matchup at Fort Thomas High School on Friday night. Exciting game, two two good quality teams. We made a run in the fourth quarter. Um, you know what? We got three, I think, and we went and stretched it to nine, I think it was, uh, just off of effort. And and again, that's how you beat other good teams. And it's going to come down to attitude and effort. And we had good attitude and effort tonight. Taisha Wilson shot the heck out of the ball. We had a good uh, job coming from our point guard, Jayla Wilson. Shuggy killed it on rebounds. Ellie kept playing hard defense, and then our freshman, number 33, kept going to the rim, and she took a bit of a great job. So, super excited. <laughs> Overall, we just kind of run out of gas a little bit, and that, that's trouble when you meet up a good, a good team like Fort Thomas when there are seven girls in and out. And, trying to keep track of everybody, but overall proud of the girls. For the program, it's just something for the younger girls to look at and say, hey, I can do this too. So we're proud of them. It was a tight back and forth game throughout until Fort Thomas freshman Kaylee Benali came alive in the fourth period and decided to take over. Down 45 to 46 with just over six minutes left to play, Benali scored and was fouled for an and one three point play. The score put the Fort up 48 46 and they wouldn't look back. After a couple of Jayla Wilson free throws, Taisha Wilson found Benali for the fast break layup and the lead was stretched to 52-46. After another free throw, Shuggy Bryce found Benali on an inbounds play and she put it home to make it 55-46 with 3.15 to play. To cap off her night, Benali recovered a loose ball while on help defense and took it the length of the court for the score. Reporting from Fort Thomas for the Gila Herald, I'm John Johnson.